afternoon uh, from the top of Preston New Road just after Wensley's I'm walking down now I understand there's uh, uh, a convoy got through and uh, they're worried about numbers so I'm going to shoot down now uh, I've got to lift up the top because Preston New Road is of course closed again right so a recap on today then as far as I can relay it is this morning we had two um, four people lock-ons so two sets of two um, one at the bottom just near Maple Farm between Maple and World of Water and at the same time one up the road between the gates of hell where the site is and the landowner Wensley's house so it was there so there were two points so they closed the road off which wouldn't be so bad uh, but later on in the day um, there was a vehicle fire, I understand, on the M55, which did create some problems with traffic because that's the alternate route. And then the police put out a statement and it was another complete and utter lie. Just a lie. A bold-faced lie. They said that the protectors had refused to allow any vehicles, including ambulances, through. Now, our statement to the police every time we lock on is that if an ambulance requires access, we will always permit access to ambulances. So they chose to misrepresent a lie. Um, I'm astounded by our police. I'm frequently astounded by many things. All right, so up here now, coming down via Wensley's, because uh, it was just the only way to get here, really. And I also wanted to see what was happening at the top. You got the Liverpool police and North Yorkshire, I think, across there. And that's opposite Wensley's in the lane near his place. Some other protectors have come up. This is Wensley's across there. Wensley being the landowner. While we've got time, I'll explain sometimes how the landowners get forced to do this. Although I think Wensley ran with open arms, many landowners get approached by a fracking company. And here's how the conversation goes. The guy from the fracking company will say, um, right, we'd like to lease some of your land to do fracking and we're going to pay you X amount or whatever. Um, as the landowner, if you're informed, you might say, um, I'm, I don't want that risk. No, I'm not going to have it. In which case, the landsman who's come to ask for your land will then say, well, that's OK then, because I'm going to go to your neighbour and I'm going to pay him what I was going to pay you. And we're going to be drilling under your land anyway. So what difference? So, you know, you'll bear all the risks that you imagine are going to happen and he'll get the profit instead of you. So that's roughly how they try to work it with the landowners. There are some amazing landowners who said no and meant no, much like we do, and have no intention of, wow, what a view. Um, I've not seen the site from this side for a while. Yeah, so a lot of landowners are good and many will have already said no, um, but obviously Mr. Wensley was quite content to say yes. Oh, lovely birds. Okay, so these are the fields where his dairy herds actually rarely get to roam anyway. He's very much an industrialized milk farmer. The state of his herds is appalling. Very lean, poverty lines, udder swellings, um, untended scars, really not a good herd. I grew up in Australia as a small child. We went when I was four and we were next door to a dairy farm. You got in the van and said something's coming. Something's coming. Cool. Okay, love. Thank you. Uh, so let's try and saw in on this. I've got to hurry down because I think there is something coming. And that's the sight from this view. I just heard that noise behind me. <laughs> Paranoid. Okay, right, so back down to the gates just in case uh, I can be of any use as a five foot grandmother to stopping a truck. It's not often you can be, but you know what? You get enough five foot grandmothers together in one line and they stop trucks. So hopefully there'll be more of us there. Not quite sure how far down the lock. Oh, that was it. I didn't finish telling you. So, yeah, so with the two lock ons this morning, one at the bottom, one at the top. And here was the absolute beauty of the planning um, was that as they cut the top lock on, remember they've only got one team. So as they cut the top one out the <laughs> and came down to get the bottom lot out, a new lot formed at the top. So where they'd just been cutting sort of roughly near there and getting one lot of protectors out, 
uh, the team went down, went down to the bottom to get another lot out and then a new team appeared at the top and locked on again. So it was like a cascading thing. Ah, so they're still cutting out the bottom. Are they still cutting out at the bottom, aren't they? Convoy! Convoy! Anybody who's watching this from the gate, convoy coming now. One. Two. Two vehicle convoy. One, two, three, four, five, six police vehicles. No, five police vehicles. A couple of on foot guys. Not much we can do to help now. Won't make it on time. Can't stop everyone. And not everyone can be at the gates 24-7. There's a million roles in this. And you know, on every frack site throughout the country, or every test site, they've got through trucks. Yeah, but they're still not fracking. And the site, as we know, is waterlogged. The central parts of the drill are sabotaged. And yeah, they may be acting with bravado, but the, some of that is for the shareholders who are panicking. And it's just stocks down to 23 cents. It was once at $1.20. And certainly on January 5th, the stock started out. Wow, they got them in quick, didn't they? Look at that straight away. They must have just turned without any ability to resist. They're already in. Jesus, I must have gone at breakneck speed and turn. Wow. That was so fast. You hear the clutch burning? Smell the clutch? God, yeah, you can. There's a smell here from where they burnt their clutches out. They've gone down so quick. Look at how quick that was from when we saw it. And you watch how much more distance I have to cover. And yet, well, why is it? Oh, there's no cars, is there? We're blockaded. Um, yeah, still a lot further. And yet the trucks are already at the drill pad from when they went past me and I did that count. That's incredible. They must have gone without slowing and just turned the corner so quickly. So keeping an eye on how long this takes and what distance we cover. I don't know what distance I'm covering, but you know. Sorry, some of these videos are really boring, aren't they? Because we get to spend a lot of time walking. Just walking and walking recommend that for weight loss and for increasing your thigh muscles, being an activist is very useful. I think our police are getting fitter too these days. It was quite interesting now, we seem to have two front lines instead of one, in fact nearly three today, which is, you know, it was everything was concentrated at the gate. And what I would say to people who come on and get really angry about why we're not getting any, you know, why the public is being so greatly inconvenienced by the actions we're taking. We understand, and we did try initially to do slow walks, to do our actions that would be preventing their progress and our lock-ons safely in the gateway to the site that would have had no impact whatsoever on the locals. However, the police have permitted um, security to come outside that perimeter fencing into the entranceway. And the police themselves are now facilitating um, the security guards and acting the same as them and preventing us from... I don't know if you saw that last vehicle, the waving, smiling. This is the police going, hip, hip, hooray, we got one in. You know, I mean, what sort of mentality is our police if they're seeing each vehicle in as a victory? Who's the victory for? It's not for our community. In which case, it's the only person who that's a victory for is Quadrilla. So our police are rejoicing in Quadrilla's victories. Also, please note, we're still walking and we're not at the gates yet. And this is how quick those trucks hurtled. No doubt there'll be more. You know, they close this road off to all other traffic. Um, but Quadrilla vehicles are the exception. So if your journey is inconvenienced, if you put a sign on it saying you work for Quadrilla, maybe you'd have a better chance. So still walking. So those trucks hurtled at great speed. Um, if you think where we were, we were originally all the way up there around that bend. All the way down here. 
It took me a second. Just me a second. So I did come up to help and see if I could be any use during the next one because we heard that load was coming. But by the time I got here, I just couldn't make it on time. I think I was in the middle of saying something and I forgot now. They come in, Roz. That was mad. Can't have been. Do they... Oh, okay. Got to say, they went past me. I looked through the hedge and they were at the pad already. I think so, yeah. Good idea. Really good idea. Again now. I don't know if there's any Ville vehicles. Um, there are still lock-ons at the bottom, <coughs> which explains why the road is still closed. <coughs> so they haven't cut those out, and they were, I think, the first on. So that's been the longest one today. They locked on early this morning. So, yeah. Right, so I'm going to say hello to everybody, so I'm going to turn the live stream off, and I'll turn it back on when it happens.